I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's an ugly style. Family, what is good? Devin on deck back once again with another inclusive men's fashion video. Now look, men's style YouTubers, we do our best to try to give tips to every guy, but sometimes we have a mental block in our head when we're watching a video that doesn't allow us to feel like we can be as stylish as other guys. If you are bald, short, bigger, skinny, and in this video's case, really tall, sometimes you need to see a real example to really show you what it looks like. So if you're a really tall guy and you're trying to figure out how to dress I got real practical examples of guys that can dress that you can follow on Instagram to kind of have some good you know tangible inspiration for yourself outside of myself because sometimes you just got to see it on a guy that looks somewhat like you at least in body type you feel me so yeah let's get started okay so our first guy's name is Patrick in Vogue and he is 6'6 six, six, and I really like his style I would say he's overall tailored but he has a really good way of being flexible one first outfit I want to put up here is like this all black denim get up that jacket kind of has an ombre to it it's like it starts at the black and kind of fades down he has a dope pearl neck on and there's some harness boots which you know I love harness boots and boots in general then look at the accessories on this jacket he got the rollie this guy got paper he got the shmoneys you feel me nice little Louis bag and he's not afraid to like have the rips in the knees like I'm not sure how old he is but he doesn't look like he's 18 he's definitely a grown man and he's still pulling off kind of the ripped jeans thing and not going over the top so I feel like he has good balance here the next outfit I want to point out is the overcoat outfit here with the all tan as you see he likes to wear neutrals he you know has these all white kicks on I'm not sure what they are but they look very minimal and his coat has a really nice check to it it's like a little soft hounds tooth I believe you see he has like a nice little stripe you got a little pattern mixing going on a nice little corduroy situation in this sweater and then he can dress it all the way down like this outfit right here with the white tee the leather jacket and the ribbed jeans and the vans it's very very simple this guy knows his body he understands his proportions his fit and he knows how to be very flexible and how he dresses so if this dude fits your flavor I will link his Instagram down below with everybody else's now this next guy goes by son.10 his real name's Chris that he has in his profile and I feel like this dude is really really good with color and tone but he takes risks when it comes to silhouette I feel like skinny guys and tall skinny guys especially have a tougher time dressing in wider cuts or flowier cuts but this guy it shows you that you can switch up your style and definitely wear looser fits and it still looks presentable now with this first outfit I love the color story you got that burnt orange beanie with the navy coat tan pants and a black boot you can't really go wrong with the earth tone palette like this one and this guy has a really good eye for trend but not making it feel too trendy if that makes sense like I told y'all in my fall affordable fashion video which you guys hopefully seen by now that I give you all the most inexpensive things that you can get to make sure you stay on trend but not spend too much money this guy understands that tans and lighter neutrals are definitely in season and he has so many different outfits that express that he has this full taupe look on with a trench coat no I don't love the shoes for me personally but I feel like he's pulling them off he has a very similar look here but he lost the coat and actually just wore a sweater then he used that same coat and those same sneakers and then put on blue pants and a blue shirt and you see he's just really good at mixing and matching and actually that might be a gray shirt but either way and this is out of season but this is really important right here when it comes to summer looks because he knows he's so tall he makes sure his shorts are a little bit longer and over his knees so proportionally it just kind of fits because sometimes as you know as really tall guys shorts that would hit me normally hit you much shorter because your legs are way longer right so this guy said yo I'm gonna find me some shorts that are long but also not super wide they're also like tapered and they fit his slim body as well so I'm not sure where he found them but he's on Instagram you can feel free to follow this guy DM him he'll be linked down below with the rest of the dudes so coming up next we got this guy that goes by the name of fine on Instagram I believe he is six four this guy's style is super avant-garde and extra extra bold whether we're talking silhouette in this all black and white get up with this crazy coat he does a lot of pattern mixing a lot of color mixing he plays around with silhouette a lot and he always finds a good wall or a good door it looks like to really take his photos in front of I really love this coat right here with the blue and like the white piping on the edge of it like I probably wouldn't wear that exact outfit nor would I take it in front of that door but again it doesn't have to be my style for me to appreciate it I like the way that he's putting it together in a very bold way this purple argyle's dope I like the blue outfit here with the yellow sandals and again he's picking the right door the right environment he's very 
intentional. But don't get it twisted. This guy can also dress it very clean and kind of go to a whole different direction. If you look over here at this black and white outfit, very clean. This is exactly something I would wear. A little Doc Martin situation, a black boot, a cropped black pant, a white jacket. Once again, he went to a wedding and he wore a suit that fit. It's very subtle, very, very tasteful. So he has great range in his style. So if you want to have inspiration and a guy that is going to push you outside of your boundaries that can still inspire you, right? Like I'm still inspired by this guy, but I wouldn't necessarily do all the things he's doing, right? Inspiration means taking it and making your own. But if you never see anything different, how are you going to dress different? So these are the kind of guys I look at and we're going to move on to this list. The next dude. Now, next we got a guy by the name of Ben James and he goes by hashtag big and fit okay so this guy is a plus size model and he's also 6'6 and he's really really big on showing that he's also healthy but obviously embraces his size and his shape so if you are a bigger guy or bigger and taller he's a perfect guy to follow even if you just got style and you like style this guy's style i would describe as like effortless yet put together like he's not trying but you definitely can't say this guy can't dress now look at this first outfit right he has some tan Chelsea boots on, a nice slim pair of denim, a nice chambray denim shirt, and I believe this is a, a kimono. Now look, I promise you, I did not plan this video to basically just back up all the trends that I called for this season, but hey, I know what I'm talking about. This guy's wearing a kimono. I told you kimonos are coming. I got seven in my closet. What are you doing? Go see that video down below, trends. It'll be down below, watch it. But anyway, this dude's also wearing a kimono. I didn't realize it. Dope little hat. I believe it's a little brim, flat brim situation. I like the balance here. The fits on point, he has a nice flow up top, and like I said, effortless but put together. This next one right here at the desert, it's an all black get up, white tee, same tan boots or similar tan boots at least, and a black brim hat, leather backpack, he just understands accessories, fit. If you zoom in here to his finger situation, his ring game, you know I'm big on rings, so is this gentleman, and he looks like a rock star. I love this outfit. This next fits very smart casual, right? White tee, nice little check trouser, and a white sneaker, accessories on point as you can see and if he has to dress it up he can pull off a suit as well you see the blue suit you see the nice watch they got a little pin there on the lapel it's a beautiful thing the next dude on this list but definitely not the least goes by the weekender and I would describe his style as mostly suity honestly and you guys know if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while I don't wear a lot of suits I'm not a suity dude whatsoever but this style here this guy's style I still really really like and with this blue suit you see a pair of nice pair of white sneakers they're a little bit different right kind of a laceless vibe you got the pinstripe seafoam green or maybe it's like a mint colored suit and then he shows you what that looks like when he's trying to dress it down a little bit throwing a sneaker and a ball cap i don't think it looks that bad the overcoat look you know that's one of my favorite looks to personally pull off i don't really do the slippers like this but again it goes with his style he's a very suity much more dapper guy than i am but then when it's time to dress it down he can do that too i like the ombre button down here that blends down to the all black jean with the jordan i feel like this is a good balanced outfit and it mix the high in the low he goes denim jacket denim jeans with the slit but then throw on the turtleneck and the slippers to kind of dress it up a little bit perfect balance here and again this guy is six eight or six seven six seven okay the camo pants are really really dope he doesn't mind drawing somewhat of attention to himself but again they fit they're very slim they're very tapered i guarantee you this guy goes to the tailor he understands how to tailor his clothing for sure and on top of that he hits you with the shirt tuck and the buttons down to the four button okay i don't know if i'm that bold i might give you two buttons but i don't go that far down this is a lot of confidence right here and i feel like he's killing it so yeah, those are the four dudes. I would love to hear before I get up out of here, what are your favorite guys on this list? What guy on here do you feel like is the number one, definitely fits your personal style the best, definitely possibly inspires you? Even if you're not like a really super tall dude, all these guys inspire me, and you know they're all linked down below, so check them out. I really strongly suggest it. If you have any other videos y'all want from me like this one, the next one coming up is for skinny guys, so you don't gotta comment that. But anything else, let me know. I told you I've already done bald dudes, I've already done short dudes, I've already done bigger guys and I have it all linked down below if you want to check it out and I really appreciate your time and before I get out of here I'm gonna show you the boot of the day now these are actually by ASOS and if you're a boot head like me did I just say that am I a boot head now Charles I'm a boot head now can you believe that this is my plant Charlie by the way y'all should know this by now but I'm a boot head bro right isn't that crazy anyway this is a lot like the Calvin Klein one I think the Calvin Klein's retail ad I want to say like 
What is that? I'm gonna look right now in the store. A thousand dollars, okay? They retail a thousand dollars. Here, these are eighty-seven dollars on ASOS. Hundred percent real leather. The sole, I believe, is man-made materials, though. This is definitely not a leather sole, but leather upper. You got this nice metal cap toe, which is tight, and I think they'll just be some fun boots. They're very simple, very clean, and ninety-nine. Dollar nine hundred ninety nine dollar price drop. So if you want to check these out, I'll link them down below. They're beautiful in my opinion, and there goes that. So thank y'all for your time. I really appreciate you, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.